Folding rear seats, if so equipped. The second and third row seats can be folded and stowed to create extra storage space when needed. If your vehicle is equipped with second row captain's chairs, they can be folded away for added cargo handling. First, raise the armrests to the stowed position. Now, remove the second row center console. Lift out the cup holder tray and pull up on this handle to tilt the console box upward. Then move the console box toward the front of the vehicle and lift it out. With the console box removed, pull these straps in the center of each seat cushion forward. Now fold the seat cushions toward the front of the vehicle. Next, pull this strap located on the back of the head restraint and fold the head restraint back. Then lift up on the recline lever and fold the seat backs flat. When you want to return the second row captain's chair to its original seating position, just follow these steps in reverse. You'll want to make sure the seat back is in an upright position and the head restraints are reset. Then push the seat cushion firmly into place. If your vehicle is equipped with a second row bench seat, it can also be folded flat for increased cargo handling. Pull the strap located in the center of each cushion forward. Now fold each cushion toward the front of the vehicle. Next, pull this strap located on the back of the head restraint and fold the head restraint back. Then lift up on the recline lever on the side of both outboard seats and fold those seat backs flat. Now fold down the center seat back by pulling up on the strap at the edge of the cushion, then fold it forward. Your bench seat model has a carpeted panel that can be folded back for a level cargo floor. For ease in getting into or out of the third row bench seat, you can tip forward the second row outboard seats. First, raise the armrests to the stowed position, if so equipped. Then lift this latch in the upper corner of the second row seats and fold the seat back forward. Doing this will enable you to tip the back of the seat forward. Now lift up on the lower corner of the seat base and tip the seat forward. To manually fold the third row bench seat, if so equipped, first disconnect the rear center seat belt. Release the shoulder strap from the buckle by inserting a key or other suitable tool into the slot on the side of the buckle. Hold on to the connector tongue when releasing it from the connector buckle so it does not retract suddenly. Then retract the belt and attach it securely to the retractor base on the ceiling. Now lower the headrests completely and make sure the second row seat backs are not reclined. Pull up on this latch, located on the outside corner of each seat back. Then fold the seat back forward over the seat base. When you want to raise the seats again, simply lift the seat backs and make sure they are latched in the upright position. If so equipped, the third row power folding seat controls are found in two locations. One is here, on the third row passenger side cup holder console. The other is behind third row seating, here on the right-hand passenger side. The switch on the left controls the driver's side third row bench seat. The identical one on the right controls the passenger side third row bench seat. These controls will only operate when the transmission is in park or neutral. They can be operated at any time when the ignition is off. Before folding down the third row seats, make sure the second row seat backs are not reclined. Then lower the third row headrests completely and disconnect the center seat belt. To fold down a third row power seat, push and hold the bottom of the switch. To bring it upright again, push and hold the top portion of the switch. A chime will sound when you start a third row power seat operation. A warning beep will sound five times if either seat is not fully upright or fully folded and the ignition is turned on. When returning the rear seats to the vertical position, be sure to properly reset the head restraints, headrests, and seat belts and ensure the seat is locked into position. Please refer to your owner's manual for further instructions on folding and adjusting seats in your vehicle.